All right, so the draw for the Olympics has just come out on the women's side, and it's a pretty interesting draw, of course. There's 16 seeds in this one. No one gets a buy in the first round, so it's pretty crazy from the start. But let's go have a look at the players that are not playing at this year's Olympics. So we'll quickly go through the list as it stands, starting with, with Sabalenka, obviously not playing, choosing not to play. Rabakina added to that list now with Vondrusova, Jabir, Keys, and Kazakina all not playing. Samsonova, Azarenka, Kalinskaya, and Pavlyuchenkova all not playing as well. Kostea, Mertens, Kudamatova, Potapova, Blinkova, and also Avanes and not playing on the women's side. So here it is. You can see there the top of the draw. And as I said earlier, you've got 16 seeds and no one gets a buy in the first round. So Sviontek, number one seed. She takes on Bagu in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Podoroska or Parry in the second round. Then you've got Nozgova taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on either Cochiaretto or the number 15 seed Schneider in the second round. Now Schneider has been in really good form over the last couple of months on grass and clay. So really dangerous player potentially for Sviontek going forward. Then you've got Ostapenko. She takes on Os Osorio in the first round. Oh, Penko is the number 10 seed. Winner of that will take on either Pagosi or Yastremska in the second round. Then you've got Sharif taking on Wozniacki. Winner of that will take on either Sigamund or the number 8 seed Collins in the second round. So a really interesting draw because Fiontek, two of her biggest boogie women are in that section with Collins and Ostapenko, the two players that we, she never wants to play because you know, maybe Collins is a little bit easier to play than Ostapenko, but Penko's never lost to Fiontek. So that could be a quarterfinal matchup there. And of course with Schneider, very dangerous. But the players to watch out for, of course. You've got to watch out for Fiontech in this one. You've got to watch out for Ostapenko. And you've also got to watch for, out for Collins as well. But I would be watching out for Schneider. I think Schneider is a very, very dangerous player, especially because she's in form over the last couple of months. All right, let's go to the next section of the draw with Garcia, the number 17 seed, coming in for Rebecca. And she'll take on Christian in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Osaka or Angelique Kerber, who is playing her last tournament at this year's Olympics. Then you've got Martic taking on Buksha. Winner of that will take on either Mukova or the number 16 seed, Fernandez, in the second round. Mukova versus Fernandez is a wild first round as well. A little bit further down, you've got number 11 seed Navarro taking on Grabo. Winner of that will take on either Frere or Tomova in the second round. Then you've got Kalanina taking on Rus. Winner of that will take on either Arani or the number 6 seed Zhang in the second round. You've got to watch for Zhang. He's very proven on clay. She just won a clay court tournament a couple weeks ago. Also got to watch out for Fernandez and Mukova because Mukova, of course, made the French Open final and has been injured pretty much ever since. So definitely got to watch out for her. And I'd also be watching out for Osaka because, of course, we all know she was the only player at this year's French Open to nearly beat Fiontech. So she's got to be one to watch out for as well in this section. But this second section is absolutely stacked, of course. This section of the draw will take on the Fiontech section. So we could be getting Fiontech taking on Zhang in the first semi final. Maybe Fiontech versus Garcia. If you want to go something a little different, of course, Garcia taking that spot where Rabakina was. Maybe Fiontech versus Osaka. Now that Rabakina is out of the way, that could really be a possibility. Or if you don't think Fiontech's going to make it, maybe you want to go with Zhang taking on Ostapenko, or maybe Zhang taking on Collins. Maybe you want to go with Osaka taking on Collins or Osaka taking on Ostapenko. Or maybe if you want to get something a little bit different, maybe Fiontech taking on Mukova. That could be a really interesting matchup. Of course, that was a French Open final last year. And we were backing her out of the way. That gives Mukova a big chance. So it's going to be really interesting to see who Fiontech does play if she does make the semis because we're backing her being out. Leaves a huge gap. All right, next quarter of the draw, we've got the number five, Sipa Gula taking on Golovic. Winner of that would take on either Uchiima or Svetolina in the second round. Then you got Wong taking on Korpach. Winner of that would take on either Tormo or the number nine seed, Krajikova in the second round. Then you got the number 14 seed, Adaj Maya, taking on Gracheva. Winner of that will take on either Schmidlova or Bolta in the second round. Then you've got Lynette taking on Andreva. Winner of that will take on either Bogdan or the number four seed, Palini, in the second round. Another crazy section as well, with Palini, of course, making back-to-back -back Grand Slam finals. One of those being the French Open. Krajikova, the French, the Wimbledon champion in this section as well. You've also got Pagula, who has been pretty consistent, I should say. Has been very consistent over her career the last few years. And some other players there. So you've got to watch out for, of course, Pagula. You've got to watch out for Palini as well. Also got to watch out for Krajikova. Red hot off that Wimbledon title. But also got to watch out for Daj Meyer on clay. Very capable. And I'd be watching out for someone like a Svetolina who, made the, who won the bronze medal here a couple of years ago or three years ago on the hard court. So can win Olympic medals. And also Andreva. Very young player coming in, of course. Very dangerous on all surfaces. But Andreva, definitely someone to watch out for. And could be playing Palini in the second round. So it could be really fun there. All right, the bottom section of the draw we've got. Maria Sakri, number seven seed, will take on Kovinic. Winner of that will take on either Alexandrova or Yuan in the second round. Then you got Borrell taking on Siniakova. Winner of that will take on either Putin Seba or the number 12 seed Kostruk in the second round. Then you got Vekic, the number 13 seed, taking on Bronzetti. Winner of that will take on either Andrescu 
or Towson in the second round. Then you got Carle taking on Maria. Winner of that will take on either Tomanovic or the number two seed Goff in the second round. A very tricky draw again for pretty much everybody involved. It's not really an easy draw. Maybe you could say Sviantek out of the top four, but because it's on clay, that's probably the only reason. But Goff, I mean, very tough first round there against Tomanovic. You got to watch out for Goff, of course. Has done well at the French Open. She's, in fact, only lost to the eventual champion at Roland Garros the last few years that she's played it. Got to watch out for Zachary, of course, at this event as well. She can play well on clay. We've seen that. I'd also be watching out for Vekic. You know, she's in form. She didn't play well at the uh, the French, or at least she didn't win the French Open or make the semis like she did at Wimbledon. But form is form, so watch out for her there. And I'll also be watching out for Andrescu as well. Of course, the Grand Slam champion. Always got to watch out for those Grand Slam champions. But this part of the draw is going to take on that Paulini section. So we could be getting Goff versus Paulini in a semi-final, which is a crazy matchup. Or maybe you want to go with Goff taking on Pagula. If you want to go with something a little different, maybe Goff taking on Krajikova could be the semi-final matchup. If you don't think Goff's going to get there, maybe you think it's going to be Paulini. We've been in red-hot form. Maybe Paulini takes on Sakari in the semi-finals. Maybe Paulini takes on Vekic in the semis, which is a rematch of what we saw at the semi-finals of Wimbledon. But man, what a, what an interesting draw. What an interesting draw for the Olympics. I mean, it's, it's a weird event. Of course, it happens every four years so it's very hard to win but it's on clay so that's even rarer i don't think we've had this since the 90s that it's been on clay who's going to win the olympics let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later i think shviontek's draw and just the fact that it's clay and she doesn't lose at roland garros is probably making her the obvious choice but i think you should be watching out for goff i think goff is definitely she's got a nice draw i mean not a not a, an easy draw but i think she would like her draw there it is the olympics for the ladies it's going to be interesting it starts on saturday